so this is the main work of uh, Kilo Bay, yes, like uh, through the emotions, yes, through these mm -hmm. certain emotions to, to understand them, to, to focus in them, mm -hmm. to bring them to a, to a life, mm -hmm. to <clears throat> actually to be that emotion in the session mm -hmm. in order that that emotion don't go out when you are interacting with other people yes because you now understand the emotion and now you understand that it's not real yes it's actually not what you are in yeah who you are since you're a spiritual being yeah i just want to skip back to what you said just to make it clearer in my mind was you said we believe in killaby we go to our basic emotions to feel them again because that's not what we are when we're a, did you say a spiritual being? I just, I don't know if I heard you wrong. Yeah. I feel like we are spiritual with emotions. Yeah. But it's important to honor our natural, our natural emotions that before I think it's the repression of emotion makes them not what they really are and intended for like okay. healthy anger is good. Joy is good. Sadness is good. Hurts good because they're all, how we live and survive and it's when they've not been allowed so they come out inadvertently or they block yeah and I think spirituality is fully embodying all of that too yeah okay thank you <laughs> yeah maybe like you said I really believe they are they're in our shadow as well they're in the archetypes and um I, yeah for me it's about really we need to kill and hunt if we were in the woods trying to provide for our family. We'd need to fight. Um, we would need to protect and look after. So I think they're all, we'd grieve. I don't think there is. And then calling them negative brings another layer of suffering on top of what they are. Okay. Yeah. But I know what you mean. There's certain traditions that, that have denied a little bit that aspect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to be good and holy, it's, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so how a child can be healed with Kilobi is the same process that with an adult or you hold a different way the space for him or for her yeah I haven't done a lot of work with children I've done yoga with children and also I have a daughter so um who's 11 um I think it's age appropriate really in the sense that I think children if they're not too what's the word damaged that's a horrible word but they have haven't disconnected from their body as much um i mean it can happen quite young now because of technology and screens but mm. there's still an ability usually to play to run to move to be very body em embodied um so i think children can be easier to work with because there are less mental stories and conditioning um and i think it's about just making the language age appropriate if i was to do that i would make it more playful and allow more of a interaction that's like that, not sat on a chair and kind of, well, how do you feel and what, where do you feel that? And how do you describe that? And kind of talk to them in that way, get them in their body, moving, expressing. Nice. Say, feel. Yeah. Please tell us how do you connect the yoga, art and healing in your everyday life? And why is it more important for everybody to go to you yeah i think yoga and healing and um, art are, are all part of our creativity um and there's a lot of brain and logical and study and information and yoga and creative and art use the other side of the brain which is just as important um and i think we need both sides to function well and be a um yeah so important to balance those two and I think yoga to me has become an art form it's more about creative expression and somatic inquiry as well um I'm not necessarily an artist but I I write poetry and I like music and I like banging a drum and that's my art really nice. <laughs> um and I think they're also great for healing just because they literally change the brain waves and yeah it helps you out of your trauma body into the flow we call it like that why is it important to do inquiry 
and why it's good to learn to trust our own experience. I mean, when we do the, the inquiry, how we learn to trust our experience. Yeah, to me, this is so much about trusting, learning to self-trust again, where trust, where we haven't had self-trust in ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the inquiry really gives us that sense over time of who we are through presence, as well as the release of the emotion. And then the other emotions could come in of power and expression and energy Um so that's really important to, to me. That's an ongoing thing as well in a gentle way. Um, and then learning to trust, to enjoy life as well. Like they say, rest, inquire, enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. In, in one moment, I mean, the, your clients and everybody can learn to self-facilitate, no? And that yeah. is um, what's like, this is uh, one of the purpose, yes, of Kilo uh, B to make yeah. the other independent and to make the other like that can really uh, trust them experience yes in one moment they can be like wow i can do it yes and that is really amazing because we are creating a new a new civilization yes i, I would like to say it Yes. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, no, it's so important. That's that's the best, really, seeing somebody just take off and do it and learn to use those tools, not be dependent, but connect to community as well when they need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah.